going on guys welcome back to another madden ultimate team gameplay we're gonna be playing a mutt head friday night football versus free the penguins aka the cardinals club series champion um this game was taken obviously on friday it's the first round of the fnf so you know um these friday night footballs are if you don't know one thousand dollar tournaments every friday almost and you know a lot of top tier players are getting invites and really it's the end of the year now so everyone is going to play in them there's really nothing to hold back and there's a lot of top-notch competition in this and these tournaments the game mode is going to be on all man and mutt per usual and um you know like i said i'm playing cheech in the first round and you know he uh, is part of that tnc crew he's like one of the only guys that runs bunch and tnc most of the tnc members are trips members so without with all that talking let's get into the gameplay because this is a really 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 good gameplay it comes down to like the last minute of the game a lot of fluke in this game but you know at, at this point of the year it's all fun and games i'm not going to rage he's not going to rage we know what the game is and we're just playing to get a, a little bit of extra cash in our pocket you know that little cha-ching and guys, for the playbooks, per usual, um, I'm going to be rocking that giant. Actually, excuse me. This is not going to be a usual gameplay. I'm going to be in the 4-6 defense, and I'm going to be in Seattle offense. Seattle offense, I've kind of been in it for a couple days now. But here we go, man. First play, I'm using the, our new Robert Griffin III. I'm on a hash mark, and I throw an absolute book, guys. Um, not the way you want to start a game off at all. And, you know, Derwin James, I don't know if he had a 98 speed, the 99. Uh, people use random theme teams at this point of the year, uh, but for the most part, I'm sure he's using 59ers. Derwin James, 98 speed, six foot two, picks me off. And guys, Free the Penguins is running that um, Carolina bunch. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of went away from it, including me. But you know, he's still in that Carolina bunch. It's right here, guys. He is going to start off his first play on offense, and of course, he's going to have Robert Griffin at third. If you don't know really who Free the Penguins is, he is one of those people who is crazy with escape artists, loves to run around the pocket. Um, you know, me and him, Joe Rice, Alan Gibson, um, even Henry, have kind of been known that for that for the past couple of years. And, you know, obviously, I've said this a couple of times if you watch my last RG3 video, uh, the takeoff, the escape artist isn't as good this year due to all mad and mutt. And really, 99 speed players everywhere. And, you know, they did nerf the escape artist feature. But, I mean, it's still really, really nice to, you know, maneuver the pocket, especially when people, like, send three and stuff, even send two. You can make some plays happen, whereas, you know, if you have it a Brett Favre, um, I'm trying to think, Aaron Rodgers, they're really not going to get those plays out, even with escape. So, you know, RG3 has that 98 speed. He's right here. He's going to dump it out on Kamara. We make it, we miss a tackle, easy tackle. So, you know, instead of that being, like, a two to one yard gain, it becomes a five. And right here, man, uh, like I said, this is the toughest part of, you know, the field for anyone. You know, whether they run bunch, trips, anything. Um, you know, he's going to highball a dot right here and he gets cheated. And that's really what I was going to go to. So in the red zone this year, guys, um, you guys probably know by now, it's extremely hard to score. But the reason for that is, you know, highballs are terrible. So past couple years, you could definitely highball some stuff, especially like post flag elite. If you highball something, get your hands on it, you're going to catch it all, every single time. And of course, Madden 19, we all know how the highball works. But the thing this year is, you know, highballs are cool. You know, if you get your hands on them, you're going to catch them probably. The thing is, you overthrow so many of them. And, you know, you guys obviously probably know this, but, you know, just notice how many times me or him get held up to three in this game. So right here, guys, after, you know, throwing a pick on the first play, I'm not going to say it was, you know, because of a hash mark. It was a terrible read. But, you know, me being in the middle of the field kind of helped him get that interception because, you know, a lot of things were just in the middle. His user was in the middle. It was, like, congested for me. I made the wrong read. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking to myself, let me just run the ball, get to a hat. And Cheech is in the Giants playbook as well. So if he gets me on these third downs, 146 is coming out. Right here, we're going to run this nice corner route setup. George Kittle, pass lead it up. I think I may have had it earlier. Um, I definitely had, you know, decent pocket right there, but you know, you don't want to hold the ball that long in you know, any play this year. Those El Toros, those double or nothings, those sheds are crazy. And you know, those 99 DNs are going to get there super fast. So you know what? We're thinking, you know, let's start getting the ball out faster. And that's what we do. Keenan Allen playmaker dot to the left sideline. And we're trying to make some moves. And then we realize we're on balance. Let's just go out of bounds. See right here, we're going to switch our conservative ball carrier. 
And guys, let me know how you feel about this Robert Griffin III. It's right here. We're going to do a nice mix-up. This is your, something you guys will start seeing more often. Uh, you know, before it was really two running backs, two wide receivers. But now that I have this dual tight end feature, I can make some new plays. Obviously, that play was a bag. He decided to run man coverage. But, you know, I know that for later on in the game, I can make some better plays. Guys, if you are struggling with the two running backs, two wide receiver audible downs, sub in a tight end, these tight ends are so goaded right now. Robert Woods, Vernon Davis, uh, George Kittle, all like 97, 98 speed plus. It's right here, guys. We're going to cook up a dot. He showed us he was in man coverage to play before. This play, he mixes it up into zone, and that's just playmaker dots galore. You know me with a playmaker, playmaker P. Uh, Keenan Allen spikes that football into the end zone. That's just a nice crispy dot. There's a, a crosser going one way. He had to defend it with his user, leaving the middle of the field wide open, and he was on Justin Smith, so just an easy playmaker up. Boys, that play was pretty nice. Honestly, if you want to rewind that, go ahead. I know I kind of do some rewinds here and there, but... You know, this is a really good game, so we got to keep it moving. Right here, guys, first down and 10 for him, and we get a super disengage with Joey Bosa. And you're thinking, what's up with the, you know, what's up with the Chargers unis? What's up with Joey Bosa? He's not, like, the greatest player out there. And uh, I had to use, I had to borrow someone's account, and they let me use it for one game. As right here, he's going to hit that corner out to the right side to Calvin Johnson. I was in match, and he caught me with that no huddle. You know me, boys. I always say if someone no huddles, just call a timeout. Um, you know, I was thinking, you know, second and 18, whatever it was, I could let him live with that. As right here, we're going to run a cover two shell, and he makes appropriate read, great read. Sometimes, guys, with that vert hook shaded underneath, he kind of goes down and bags, you know, those little out routes, those little flat routes for a minute. And then, you know, he jumps back up to guard, you know, a vert hook, anything across the middle of the field uh, towards that area. So, you know, that's a great adjustment, but he just made a nice, patient read. It's right here. He's going to playmaker to Jamar Chase, new draft rookie card. And, you know, he doesn't. He does get seven yards. I felt like I was kind of there, but just not there enough. It's right here. He's going up tempo again. And Cheech is another love, one of those players that loves to run no huddle. And right here, he gets extremely cheated, almost so cheated uh, to the point where I almost intercepted that off, you know, hit, it hitting his back, his back. And right here, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to call a timeout because his flip, his flip, flip bunch is getting me messed up right now. I'm not adjusting fast enough. And also, not to mention, I'm in 4-6 playbook. So that audible over does take a second. It's right here. We're going to run cover two. Shade down. And that's a complete bag. Um, I could have had a better user. But nonetheless, we should have got a pick right there. Great defense. It's all good. He got cheated the play before. I wouldn't even say I got cheated that play. But, you know, here we go. It's a big down, fourth down and three. And right here, boys, we're going to run a little bit of match. Hopefully, we could get our adjustments set fast enough. And that's what we do. Hard fly on the left to guard that playmaker. Joey Bosa in that spy. Our user is going everywhere. We're going to try to swat this down. And we just... Epic fail, man. Just a huge epic fail. That's number one. You know, this game, like I said, boys, it was pretty fluky. He should have had the first down already. But, you know, I guess that's on me for swatting. I really just wanted the field position. But from here on out, I will never swat the football again. Always go for the pick. Always hold triangle, man. Um, y, whatever console you're on. So after that crazy fourth down conversion, he's in field goal range. But, you know, we're good, man. Uh, just got to hold him to three still. And right here, he hits a nice high ball dot. And, you know, he does get cheated. He definitely should have got his feet in bounds right there. George Kittle, honestly, that was a great, you know, that was great pocket. And, you know, great patience to see that route. Because, honestly, I wouldn't even have been looking at that route right off the get-go. But he kind of stood with it. And he almost threw a dot because of it. Right here, we're going to finally scream. We're going to finally blitz. 99 speed. I think 99 or 98 speed Ronnie Lott. Uh, my man's has a Chargers and Niners team team 25-25 each. So, guys, a lot of these players aren't, you know, 99 speed that you may be used to seeing. For example, Namdi, Ronnie Lott, even Rod Woodson, they're all 98 speed. So, if I'm playing some of them out of position, example, like safety or up top, that's the reason why. It's right here. He's going to try to get a first down. He almost escapes the pocket, and we absolutely crack him with Mike Evans, but no fumble. See, I'm not too mad about that, boys, because, you know, we did end up holding him to three. But, you know, that's just crazy. Mike Evans' golden ticket just literally came out like a week or two ago. Um, I don't know if he was on conservative, but even if he was, I don't think that was, you know, the reasoning. He should have 100% coughed that football up. That's just what I think, boys. 
Uh, if a quarterback fumbles or a quarterback gets hit, especially a hit stick, you should always cough it up regardless of conservative or not. But trust me, I've had my fair share of, you know, lucky moments where I've gotten absolutely hit stick by like a Ray Lewis, Patrick Willis, and I've had, you know, like Michael Vick, and I haven't fumbled. So it goes both ways, man. It's right here, man. I'm just going to audible over, run a quick inside zone. I thought his D-line was going to stay spread, but in reality, he shifts it, gets a nice hit stick on us. No fumble, thankfully, but, you know, it still kind of, you know, sets the tone when you get a big hit stick like that. It's right here, man. We're going to run Z-Spot, and he's going to send the blitz. Uh, he, Chicharito started getting a little predictable and I end up getting shedded so I had R1 right away I should have honestly just I should have just thrown it I was a little scared of that cloud but with Robert Griffin the third you're gonna have to throw those passes very very fast um, you know he doesn't have that Brett Favre gunslinger release so when in reality boys you just have to kind of throw that ball a little bit sooner than you would with Brett Favre and that's what I should have done right there that was a hard flat on the left I believe it was like a five flat really good adjustment um, I noticed what he does is it, when he does blitz he likes to hover over that left guard and he'll do this later on in the game that's why I'm telling you guys right now he likes to hover over that left guard he likes to play a five flat and he likes to send six including the slot cornerback he runs a cover two shell he mans up the solo receiver and yeah, I mean, it's really good adjustments He's right here. We're going to hit him with some nice adjustments as well and get glitchy with it. Get lurky. Derwin James going across the field to get a nice interception. And that Derwin James is 99 speed, 25 Chargers, 25 Niners, same team. Derwin James is actually cracked, boys. So see right here, man. Uh, honestly, it wasn't the best user pick. It was more that he would throw that football on the run and you know Cheech is a little wild at times man and I don't tell me I didn't don't say I didn't tell you guys he is a uh, definitely plays with a lot of uh, recklessness it's right here nice playmaker dot gets a first down and that's not a knock on him man sometimes it's good to be reckless man trust me I've seen a lot of crazy plays he's made that I'll be like wow I wish I could make that play right here guys we're gonna run read option and really, what did Kittle just do? What did both my tight ends just do? Rewind that if you want. They both went for the block on those outside linebackers and just completely whiffed. Um, that definitely should have been like a three to five yard gain, maybe even a touchdown potentially. But, you know, it ends up being no yards at all. Right here, man, this is what I was talking about. I wanted to freestyle more out of these two tight end sets. And that's what we're going to do. You know, it's not the best play, but we do get a playmaker. And Keenan Allen kind of falls forward to the first down marker. Really glitchy by me. Really glitchy for him. Really glitchy by Keenan Allen is what I meant to say, boys. I couldn't think of what I wanted to say. It's right here, man. We're going to run 0-1 trap. We're just trying to get this first down and try to eventually get a touchdown. And 0-1 trap looks absolutely money, man. Um, I got that, you know, I got that remember for later on in the game. That 0-1 trap looked really glitchy versus that look he just showed me. Right here, man. We we should be in goal line. We should be in strong wing. Instead, we're in we're in a bunch running read options, and that just shows you, man. I, I don't know what I was thinking at this time of moment. So you know what, guys. So you know what, guys. I end up thinking, let's go back to read option, and he run commits this time. So you know, big new move by me right there. Honestly, I don't mind it too much because you know it's gonna just pretty much not like let him get the ball before half. But in reality, boys, uh, this is not the move. You got to go for sevens in this ma in this game mode. Mud is, you know, it's not the hardest game mode to score in. But, you know, it's not a mode where you can be content with get kicking three, kicking three, kicking three. And this goes back to what I told you guys earlier in the game. Count how many times we get held up in the red zone. So he's already got held up twice. Now me, the third time of the game. This kick is going to be good. And we're going to go into half with a four-point lead, boys. Not too shabby. Right here, man. Cover two shell once more. He does get ball out of half. Really great defense. Um, and, you know, potentially had that Kittle going up the sideline. But the, when I click R3, those players just come in so fast. Uh, that was a vert hook zone. I believe that's Rodney Harrison just absolutely running after uh, Robert Griffin. Right here, man. We're trying to go for the user rush. But he actually just gets a great little uh, table route. And that table route, man, I told you, man, it's meta this point uh, i showed you guys at least in the ebook setup a little before it became meta it was still a little meta at the time but now man everyone does it and it's a great blitz uh pickup it's right here man am i wrong for thinking that should have been a pick or should have been played 
I have no idea what, I don't know if it was Mike Evans or Antonio Cromartie, whoever, whatever one of them, they definitely should have snapped on that football, man. I was definitely thinking, you know, that should have been, first of all, a pass breakup. Second of all, maybe even a pick, but in reality, nothing occurs. It's right here. We try to go for the user rush. We should have probably ended up going for it. Um, you know, maybe slow down the time he had to throw a dot, but I just, I just didn't go for it. I ended up trying to use it or something, and he throws the dot. So he's having a really good drive so far. I think we had him on a third or fourth and three again. And he completes that pass to Kamara. It's right here. Jamar Chase is in motion. Mike Evans does match onto him, but it's just a little too late. Great drag route combo right there. And right here, I'm just going to run commit. He ran commit when I audible down. So I'm going to just do the same. And just great IQ right there. I know it's a risk to take, but at this point, you know, I'm not trying to have him get the first down. And right here, man, he is going to flip his bunch per usual. Um, you know, when people flip their bunch, it just makes it harder to uh, defend. And we're going to try to send the heat. And we do get the heat, the pressure to come in. And that could have been a pick, boys. Uh, Dion was kind of lurking in that area. I'm not going to say it was a completely a pick. It could have been a dot as well. But look at Mike Evans running in on the pressure, man. Mike Evans just looks like a glitch on defense. I know he's unfortunately 98 speed, boys. But, I mean, he is a monster. I really wish he was up top, though, and I could use him at middle linebacker. And right here, we're going to show the same look again. We're going to send seven. And the pressure doesn't come in. Antonio Cromartie in a cloud just gets ran right by. Great dot right there to Calvin Johnson. And, boys, that's on me. I got to go up and, you know, either hit the guard or do something like that. Um, instead, I play very passive with my user. I kind of stood in that gap for a second, and then I just completely bailed. When you want to send that send six, even send seven pressure, you got to really commit to it, man. And, you know, I've done this a bunch of times before where you blitz that extra cornerback in 35 wide, and then you just go and hit one of the guards, and the guards is going to pick you up, leaving the slot cornerback to come in. If they don't block their tight end, um, you know, it will still come in versus a blocked running back. But rewind that play if you want, guys. My user was very passive. Uh, I was just kind of trying to guard the streak. And, yeah, that's that's all I could really say about that play. Great dot. But we're good, man. Second and four. Uh, I have a lot of faith right now, man. Uh, terrible first possession. But after that, you know, I've been kind of cooking up. Honestly, forgot how I scored my first touchdown, boys. I won't lie to you. But, you know, I believe it was a great possession. It's right here. We're going to playmaker Keenan Allen backwards. And now we're really cooking up. We're moving our playmaker around, making him uncomfortable, showing him a lot of routes that, you know, He's not accustomed to seeing, so like a crosser in the slot with a playmaker coming underneath. Um, most people are accustomed to seeing playmaker on that solo side receiver, that solo receiver all the way on the far left, um, as I have him right there. But, you know, to me, I like to move it around. And right there, man, very, very unfortunate for us. Um, I was in the Discord at the time of this game, and Henry ended up saying, you, that's why you don't low ball, that's why you can't low ball. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not as mad as I was when I that play first happened but it's still kind of unlucky in my opinion um you know it wasn't the best read his user was there but he bailed out that's why i wanted to low baller and catch it like right in front of his face nonetheless man it's it's pretty annoying to you know throw a low ball and then end up throwing a pick off it but it's all good man we're gonna keep fighting like i said earlier boys a lot of fluke in this game but you know it is what it is that's what happens at the end of the year uh, in my opinion a lot of crazy plays Right here, man, sending five out of a cover three look. Got some zone drops on. And Rod Woodson has to go crazy on that. I believe I have Acrobat on him. Probably not, actually. I remembered I put Nambi up top and put Acrobat on him. Uh, I feel like that definitely could have been a pick. Nonetheless, he still catches it. Third and eight. And once more, a cover two look. Manning up that corner route that once beat us before. And I feel like this is a good defense. Really good defense, and he is just going to throw this ball away. He maybe had that hitch at the beginning of the play, but, you know, it wasn't going to get on the first down. I feel like, overall, we're still in this game, obviously, and, you know, I don't feel too bad at all right now. And, man, oh, man, we definitely need seven right here. If we get seven, man, we're going to be cooking up good. That's right here. We're going to go back to that first play we threw a pick on, and we throw some blind read, and, I, like I said, man, I just couldn't make a read on that play. That time he bailed out on the delay phase, leaving the crosser route wide open. Um, the first time he guarded the crosser route, 
And like I said, man, I'm in the middle of the field. It makes it just, just a little bit more difficult to make a couple of those reads. Nonetheless, definitely should have been an interception. Terrible read. It's right here. We're going to run a nice match slash man beater. It's right here. Robert Woods is absolutely going to fry Ryan Chazier. And that looked a little scary when I threw it, boys. But, you know, Ryan Chazier in reality was nowhere near that football. I have Shorten Ali on Robert Woods. And he is a tight end. and a uh, at, He is a receiver at tight end. So, you know, if, if Ryan Chazier is guarding wide receivers, then, you know, that'll, that'll, that'll be all it is, man. You know, that you can't really say too much about it. It's right here, man. Going to hit David Boston on this R1 route. And we kind of get a glitched animation, man. We get some nice extra yards. Uh, I know he was definitely mad. I would have been 100% mad about that play. It's like, I didn't throw a pick on it, but it should never been a 25 to 30 yard gain. It should have been a five to 10 yard gain at max. It's right here, boys. We're gonna dial up a hot one. Peep Robert Woods. It's right here, Derwin James tries to get back and he's not able to. Robert Woods gets an amazing rack. And it's the same thing he did earlier, boys. He ran that cover two look, send six. I set my tight end out, but due to Derwin James getting bumped, glitched, whatever you want to call it, uh, I had a free release with the tight end, resulting in a touchdown, man. And before, like earlier in that game, he came down on the line, usered it, um, and you know he got insta pressure. That time right there, he was a little passive with his user, kind of like what I was on that fourth down. Not his fault because he got bumped or whatever. He got that glitched animation, but you know due to that, I was able to get a touchdown. Right here, man, we're gonna run cover two again. And this time he hits a nice dot to Calvin Johnson. Great read. Um, that's just something I'm not accustomed to seeing this year, boys. I remember last year, if you watched a lot of Madden 20, um, a lot of people had that little comeback route going up the sideline versus cover two, because cover two was pretty popular uh, last year. And they would throw that comeback route right on the outside. And it would be kind of just like a fade route going to the outside. And it was a wide open dot versus cover two. That kind of reminded me of that right there, that play he just had to Calvin. Um, it's just because we're just not used to seeing that this year. And honestly, the reason that happened was because he was in the middle of the field and my safety was kind of in the box. So after throwing a table route man to Kamara for four yards, I'm going to start manning people up, try to get a little aggressive. And, you know, we don't have a spy, so that's something to look out for. But we're going to end up sending someone right here, and it results in great defense. Right here, boys, he is going to... Do the same table route once more. Great play. Um, I definitely should have had a better click on. There's a way to pick that off. It may be a tip Tuesday, boy. But it's very next level. But right here, he goes up tempo again. Fourth and two for the game. And I remember what gave him trouble the last play. Or the last fourth down. It was that match coverage. And we go back to that match. We send two. Ricky Jackson's fighting for us. He's fighting for us. And we get the... We don't get the stop, boys. We get cheated again. And right there, man, we ran match. Everything was bagged up. He had to let something go. And, you know, that was the closest route to him. I didn't click on, so that might be why. But nonetheless, man, I have to make that play. I had to get off the field. It's a tremendous play. That's a huge play. That's almost probably the game if we get that stop. Instead, he ends up catching it and goes for an extra 10 yards. And that was an insane play. I mean, honestly, just got to move on to the next play. Right here, man, we're sending the send five look. Trying to get off the field. And we don't have the best user, but nonetheless, we do get a shed by Justin Smith. He had both out route and the in route open at, a, at this specific time. Um, so I was guarding the out route at first, then I broke to the middle. At that point, he could have thrown the out route, but in the beginning, he could have thrown the in route. Nonetheless, we get the shed, third and 18. Let's just try to get the ball back. Let's try to make something happen. Right here, we have Cloud Flats on 20-yard depth. So they're just going to go back and guard those corner routes. And he kind of scared me on that, boys. If he kept running, he may, maybe, maybe just got a first down. But you can't take that risk right there. Great play to get, you know, closer field goal. And, you know, overall, just not get sacked or nothing bad happened. Just a great takeoff. Just smart IQ. But nonetheless, he's going to have to try to get a stop. Now. So here we go, man. I'm going to be down by two points. I have 152 on the clock at the 25-yard line with two timeouts. This should be easy money, guys. Um, you got to remember, the, these kickers nowadays are super kickers. I believe I have uh, Sanders or Akers, and they can make it from the 43-yard line cleanly. So, you know, I don't even need that many yards to get a field goal and win this game, boys. Let's get it. 
Right guy, right here, guys. David Boston is in motion. We're just trying to hit this rollout corner. The issue is we have Kittle on it. And we had it open way earlier. But we kind of cheat him, boys, right there. And like I said earlier, it's a lot of fluke. It's a lot, a lot of fluke. And, boys, I definitely had that corner out earlier. I just didn't know if he was going to, you know, be open on the cut. It's literally George Kittle. Um, and, you know, on my account, I probably would have had Camaro there. I don't even know who I would have had there. Just someone faster, probably better than Kittle. It's right here. We're going to run this nice corner route play, and he sends the heat. And I'm going to rewind this one time for the one time, boys. So in this play, guys, I want you to look out for his user. Look where his user is and where he's standing. He had done this a couple times already in this game. And I immediately, when I called Hike and I saw his user there, I'm like, yep, he's sending heat. He's sending the six-man blitz. Um, and there's certain tells in the game, man, of Madden. And, you know, I started to pick up on these tells slowly but surely after some time. But the thing was, it was kind of a little late in the game already. So I don't think it, the tells really matter too much when it's, you know, literally one minute left or whatever it may be. So pay attention to the tells in a Madden game, man, and it will make you a thousand times better. But like I said, look at his user. I'm going to talk about it a little bit on the next other, other side. But just look at his user, and it, it literally tells me everything I need to know about the play. So, man, like I said, his user going to creep down, get on that left guard. And what he's going to do with that left guard is basically fool him. Um, and that's what he does, and the pressure ends up coming in. Literally everything was open on that play. Uh, the thing is, he just dialed up the perfect blitz for the perfect play. And, you know, I'm on me. Next time, I'll, I'll make a better play because uh, I know he would have been blitzing. See, right here, his user is going to go to the middle now. He's not blitzing. He's running some type of coverage, and that's what he ends up doing. He runs man. We get it to David Boston, but it's really not the best play, the most ideal play. And here we go, man. He finally shows us the 146. This whole game, I didn't. I haven't been able to get on a third down. Um, I probably should have ended up calling a timeout and came up with a better play, at least move Kittle around. But he ends up coming on cover three. We have A open way earlier. And we wait way too long and end up throwing a pick to Deion Jones. Going to rewind this real quick, boys. So, boys, a couple things I wanted this play to go better was, uh, you know, first of all, I have Kittle on the solo side. I definitely 100% should have put Keenan Allen on the solo side. So, you know, in reality, probably maybe should have called the timeout. But it's so crucial to have those timeouts with, you know, minimal amount of time left. So honestly, I just missed the read. I have A quite a bit early. Um, everything else was kind of bagged. I probably had the in route from Kittle for a nice chunk. But at the end of the day, I made the wrong read. At least I made a late read. And it cost me. I'm going to play it real quickly, boys. And man, uh, I got shocked. I thought he was going to send a blitz. But in reality, he just ended up sending three. So, I mean, great disguise right there. And, you know, he crossed man a couple people. But look, Kittle's wide open. And A was really open on right on the cut um, nonetheless great game to cheech he 100 percent uh earned the w there's some fluky plays like i said but nonetheless it didn't really cost me the game or you know resulted in me you know losing the game because i could have still made plays and won the game so there it is boys fnf gameplay versus cheater chicharito aka free the penguins aka the arizona club series champion tnc boy uh shout out to tnc Great game right there, man. Hopefully you did enjoy that gameplay. Next gameplay, man, I'm going to be doing a golden ticket Derek Carr gameplay. That's my quarterback right there. You guys know how I feel about my man, my guy. Till next time, leave a like, comment, sub, share, all that good stuff, man. And we'll catch you guys in the next gameplay, the next video. Till next time, stay up, stay easy. Peace.